And now, a quick segment to uncover the uncensored booty. It's Stuff the Censors Missed. Yeah, it's a bad scene. <laughs> yep, it's one of those again. Well, we got a bad scene. <laughs> yep, don't do that again. Now, okay. Bad scene. Bad scene. Bad scene. Bad scene. Bad scene. Okay, let me finish the fucking episode. Anyway, bad scene. <laughs> yes, and that picture is from an old school Genesis game called Lady Stalker. Yes, I said that correctly. Because any nigga that uses P-Life power to float with the magic of horny does not stalk land, but instead stalks ladies. And sometimes, not ladies. Let me explain. See Nigel walk. See Nigel walk. See little girl in the alley. See little girl in the alley. See Nigel turn into a predator. See Nigel turn into a predator. Yes, that's right. And I ain't talking about the alien nigga with dreads and four teeth. I'm talking about Lady Stalker. But to be fair, we really don't know what happened yet. One, because he might be just trying to find information from her. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And two, because nigga I ain't pushed play yet. But you have to admit, the scene looks questionable. And not just Nigel, but also this woman over here that has a hand up this boy's ass. Oh yes, shit is fucked up today in fantasy land. Anyway, so Nigel speaks to her and she says, Hi, I'm Purin, I'm 12. Madam Yard is my mom, wanna play? Okay, so I'm sure you all know what Madam stands for. If not, well it stands for hoe wrangler. Like, imagine a bunch of free range hoes on a booty farm. Okay, so she hoes the lasso. Anyway, before you even answer the question, she says that she likes you and asks you to be her boyfriend. But before you even have the chance to pick no, you're probably already hitting the A button to get her to shut the fuck up. So Nigel picks yes, and zoop, Friday, Nigel's crotch fairy, just don't ask questions, nigga, just go along with it. Comes out of his drawers and says, in fairy speak, What the fuck is wrong with you? Then the screen flashes, <laughs> Nigel spins around and says, Wowee! <laughs> yeah, see, something is definitely wrong with this nigga. Like, I don't know if he's in pain or if he busts a nut. And with that, the whole ordeal ends. Now, I know we just spent quite a bit of time on that one, but nobody ever really talks about that shit, and I, for one, was shocked as hell when I saw it. But let's see where the fuck Nigel's gonna lead us to next. So then Nigel walks into Madam Yard's whole house, and the dude tells him that he's a member, but doesn't wear his tutu when he's off. What the fuck is going on in this game? So then he talks to another dude that obviously just relieved himself, <laughs> and then says he has to go home. Yeah, to, to practice what he learned? What the fuck is going on in this game? Well anyway, of course you see the two whole guardians blocking the stairs, and they tell Nigel that he's too young to even be at Madam Yard's. But does that stop a pervert? Hell no! So he floats the fuck over the asses and goes upstairs. <laughs> and then, as he hears the sweet sound of flesh pound, the hostess tells him that that room is for somebody else and to follow her. And right when they about to get down, Friday, Nigel's dick police, comes to stop the action and actually takes power from his real health. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, that's serious. You can actually die on a fucking cutscene. So, after a little bit of confusion, the whole Linda says that it ain't a whole house, but instead, a ballet studio. Where people come to release tension, develop discipline, and gain poise, and that they only serve adults because kids' bodies ain't ready for the stress that ballet gives them. Yeah. No line! Anyway, Friday believes her, and then goes back in his balls, and then all of a sudden, Linda's ass changes tune, and says that he's too young again. Well... Bitch, that don't stop the lady stalker! So earlier in the game, Nigel was on one of his missions when he heard a girl named Kayla laughing and trying to get his testicle witch. And she floated on by with her remedial assistants and told him to rob Nigel. Only they're just too stupid to even know how to do that and they drift away in the river. Huh. This nigga's got issues. But by being the lady stalking ass nigga that he is, he gets a nice view of their leader and makes sure to remember to float to her ass. So, by following the sweet smell of blonde booty, he knows that Kayla's in the castle of the town he's in. And after the duke of the castle speaks to him in the language of mashed potato, he follows his guide up to the room and don't walk up the stairs, but jumps up each one of them with excitement. And then he sees one of the hoes he floated over earlier and says to himself, I'm gonna float over that bitch. And after he gets to his room, he leaves his room. And you know what's next, my dude? Time to float. Now this is the part that the censors missed and that you couldn't do on the Genesis. 
But Nigel goes into this dirty ass room and the two idiots from earlier come out and keep talking about how beautiful Kayla is. And then they turn into robots. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck happened to him and I don't care because Booty is in the next room. So Nigel walks in and yes, Kayla is in there causing troubles in the bubbles and also in all of her PG rated ass nudity. Which of course means there's no actual real nippleage or anything else to be shown. But hey, it's better than Linda at the ballet studio. So Kayla, for some reason, thinks that it's hilarious that he's there. And tells, not ass, Nigel to come here. Oh yeah! <laughs> and, oh shit. Penis patrol, penis patrol. Friday comes out once again to stop anything from happening. Friday, now you one for three, girl. Nigel's a big boy. Shit, I even think he's ready for ballet. Anyway. Friday knocks you out cold, and the story continues on, without Titty. And maybe you think if you pick the other option, you might get a chance, right? <laughs> Wrong. Kayla then just sends her hitters to come and fuck you up, even if you're in fucking float mode. <laughs> How the hell that happened? And then you go back to being laid out. Well, that's what the senses missed on Lady Stalker, the adventures of Nigel and his blue balls. But I'm always ready for some naked sprites, however you gotta get to them. But with that, the booth is closed. Now, let me learn how to do that fucking floating shit because I saw this fine ass girl in a tower the other day that Ah <laughs> oh, shit Friday you cock blocking motherfucker! Hey! We ain't just here, we everywhere! Follow us on the Twitter page, the Facebook page, and the Instagram page and just put fine game girls at the end of all of them. <laughs> you wanna wear some FGB shirts? Then hit up cafepress.com slash fine game girls and put a shirt over your nipples. <laughs> oh. Also, you can support us on Patreon for just a dollar a month and get some cool stuff in return. Like the lyric book, FGB Lyrics, a monthly magazine, request, and all of the covers for the videos. And for a little more, you can get ringtone. Bravo, booty, bravo. A bonus video and other stuff. It's all at patreon.com slash fine game girls. By the way, here's what happened last episode. Like when she starts the match on King of the Fighters 2002 and- Oh, oh shit! Ah, sexual sprites! Sexual sprites! Ha <laughs> ha! Funniness! And here's some beats from the album. Ha <laughs> ha! The streets are on fire! <laughs> Find game girls everywhere! Find us!